All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So listen, Eminem. Eminem, the GOAT, greatest of all time. He has dropped a remix of I Got You Open. The first version of I Got You Open, not the second version. So we're going to react to that and we'll be back. Who raised you? Oh my god, this dude is so hard. That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, Children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't understand it neither. Uh, yeah, man, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. YouTube is messing with us, but guess what? We still the greatest podcast in the world. I'm gonna tell you right now. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep this thing rolling. Fuck YouTube. That's all I gotta say. We're gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep reacting. And hey, things may happen. So let's get into this, man. Uh, Eminem featuring Buckshot Shorty. I got you open. Don't front. You know I got you open, kid. For a real quick story, uh, before we matter of fact, I'll tell the story afterwards. Let's get into it. It's not fair. Let me just run that back. Now I represent Pencil is full of insulin Bullets, I'm like a Doberman Pinch, you'll be pulling a rock Mix with it, toxic, a plot Begins to thicken out Begin to spit like finish pop Diminic, demonic, mix sinister Ever since the doc replenished me The day he gave me that shot When I was just about to quit So to not see him with me Would be a shocking image And I'm the definition of what a concrete chin is Cause no matter how many times you sock me in it And knock me to the canvas Even in the box and This guy, man. His thing. Here's the thing about Eminem. This y'all gotta understand, right? A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all don't understand what's going on. A lot of y'all think that Eminem just be rapping. A lot of people think Eminem just be spitting bullshit. It's not the case. It's so many bars within bars. He is the master. Of double entendres. And people don't even realize it. It's unbelievable mm-hmm. how good he is. Mm-hmm. And this is all. Him. Without writing nothing down. He just goes in the booth. And just does this. It goes back to what I said about Little Wayne. But I'm not going to bore y'all with all that. Because that's too much. We'll get to that to the end. But this is crazy man. Run it back a little bit. Critics know that if I get off to a rocky start, I'll always have a rocky finish. Eat me broccoli, spinach, cocky, no, nope. but I hope I offend it. You wanna told you how dope I am at this and put emphasis on the dope. So when names come up in that conversation, of who's the dopest? Oh better th- my god, yo. <laughs> if I have a rocky start, that means I'm gonna have a rocky finish. What? Listen, <laughs> the way he's coming off, the way he's coming off is like he was made for these type of beats. It's literally like he was made for these type of beats. Now, mind you, I never heard him on a classic, classic Hardcore boom bat beat. I never heard, I've heard him on boom bat beats before, but not like this. This is different. This sounds like, oh yeah, this is this is my beat. I was made for this type of beat. 
He is killing it. Keep going, man. Keep going. Don't mind any, and don't mind me while well, I remind you of the flow you won't find anywhere when it fires and I unload my pen explode till there's no rhymes in it reloading no time letting those fly every 60 seconds that go by so you know I admit it in school I was so shy timid two pairs of jeans I'd all ten come on man what come on man come on time flies by every time my pen explodes so you know I meant it like a minute in 60 seconds. Like, you know, I meant it. What? Oh, my God, bro. <sighs> Come on, M. Let's go. Let's go, M. Bum me close. I remember pegging my mom for came up with records because those were new. Say Vincent DePaul. Those ponies were used and no size fitted. But kiss them old days out of your side, did it? They said I was a gimmick. Now I'm the one that those guys mimic. Now you fuckers don't want to go start and no art gimmick because you know I win it. Name a flow that's more authentic. Don't front. And don't front. You know I got you open. Don't front. You know I got you open, kid. Don't front. You know I got you open, kid. Don't front. You know I got you open, kid. Don't front. You know I got you open, word. Don't front. You know I got you open, kid. Don't front. You know I got you open, kid. Don't front. You know I got your open kid. Yeah, why you fucking? You know I got your open kid. Rest in peace to Big Poof. You was the beast. You lyrically mirrored me. Molding my flow off of you. Your spirit's flowing through me. I love you, duty. Without you, I feel so incomplete. I'm no king. No need for rose petals to be thrown at my feet. I'm a phone in your side. Get thrown into a throne. But I watch the fucking tone that you speak. Feel like I'm in a zone. I'm in a whole different league. I'm a motherfucking own. It's just me. No opponents can compete. And I've never been known to retreat from beef. Be beat. Follow trends or wallow in defeat. I'm still hungry as fuck. But can't even say bon appetit. Cause I don't know what to eat. Fucking microphone or the beat. Bitch, nobody's mind works like mine. It's nose to the grindstone time. Homes, your mind's blown. Cause I rhyme like I'm still trying to get signed up in the Ebony Show. Case with the nine screaming. Who the fuck passed you the mic? If I asked you to like my shit from the get, I'd rather ask you to wipe my ass. Bitch, you had you a nice run to take a hike. I ever meet my match, I'ma strike that bitch first. Cause on the mic, I gotta represent the real rappers. The real rappers get the motherfucking skills cracking. Word the buck shot and too high, why the fuck not? You don't like it, suck a cock, almost forgot. Before I signed with the doc, I almost signed with Duck Down. Cause Marcus didn't make no offers, the motherfuck loud. They jerked me around, so what's up now? Wow, how much of an asshole would I sound like rubbing it in and holding some grudge now? But don't front. You know I got you open. Don't front. You know I got you open, kid. Don't front. There's not too many people can do what this dude do, man. Matter of fact, yeah. it's only one other person or two other people I think can only do what he do. For real. That's it. And this is in the history of rap. Only two people. Yeah, you know I mean, for me. Two. That's it. Other than that. I, I already know the two. I already know the two because I'm thinking the same people. I That's already it know for the me. two. So, yeah. But we're going to keep this thing rolling, man. <sighs> no, I'm going I'm to say what I have to say because I, I was listening to a lot of what he was speaking on the record. I'm going to just, I'm going to, um, I'm going to give my tidbits once we done. Yeah. You know I got your open kid, don't front. You know I got your open kid, don't front. You know I got your open word, don't front. You know I got your open kid, don't front. You know I got your open kid, don't front. You know I got your open kid, you why you front. You know I got your open kid. Late at night, used to catch your bars, couldn't write. Now I write the type of shit to make you wipe but wear diapers cause you might leave the street. I'm on a street when your wipers couldn't wipe. It's hard to decipher what cipher I might jump in the night. Cause I'm hyper or something, need someone or something is lighting the fire under me. It's breathing new life. It's like I already died once. I guess some people only live twice. And it's funny, my days of being broke was so long ago. I lost the concept of money, but two dimes won't get a fucking nickel from me. I'm sitting down on one knee, I'm having a stroke of genius. Elizabeth, I'm coming to you, honey. Run from boy to man and still make a home. Category man, don't group me up with them pop stars. I never needed a pat on the back to get out of boy. Pen, no offense, yes, offense. Precedence has been set that'll never get met. Middle finger pressed against Moby's nose. Shout to Obi, the curtains closed on my show. But never forget that I'm the one you thought I would make it. You can't take it all. Got a whole generation of rappers coming up that are 
nutty with the flow, but convince me you've heard. An MC sends me who's this group with the fucking mincing of words. Without mincing words, it'll make you feel like I'm pinching a nerve. Who's this mentally disturbed? You might as well stick a knife in me and turn. It'll be like my skin being Indian burn. Ah, bitch, there isn't one. When will you learn? Never been served. If memory serves, I'll paddle that to my own recollection. Remembers these words. You know I got you open, kid. Yo, stop fucking. You know I got you open. Yeah, man, Eminem. Got you open, man. All right, look. <clears throat> this is what people got to understand, man. Eminem is, as far as rhyme pattern goes, and as far as flows go, yeah, he's untouchable. He's the greatest of all time to do it. He he can he can rap any type of way he wants. And when we talk about not like I ain't talking about like subject matter. He could do that too, but I'm saying he does stuff to beats that stuff shouldn't be done. You know what I'm saying? Very good at taking words and putting them in places where they don't necessarily belong, but he makes them fit. He's he's the type of rapper that he says so much. It's like it's like he says what you are thinking, like you're like what you're trying to say. He does it. It's like I want to rap like this to the beat, and it's like and it don't never come out that way. And he does exactly how you want it to come out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's it's unreal. Like what he can do now, if this album, because he's coming out with a new album, mm -hmm. I think that he, he's gonna go to the classics. Now, I don't know if they, if this is a sign of what's to come, then this is gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. Because I think that what he's saying is okay. Rap, rap is starving right now. It's starving right now for some type of attention to where. We're asking people like Jay and Nas. Well, Nas, I'm not gonna say Jay and Nas. I'm gonna say we asking people from this era, last era, to do some real hip hop music. He's in a position where he can do that. He can literally change the landscape of rap back to where it was. He can do that. He has that much power. You know what I'm saying? You still got some influences, but. If he if this if this is successful, what do you think is gonna happen? Everybody's gonna go try to go back that way. Because everybody goes to what's successful. You know what I'm saying? Only two people that I have in mind that can do what he do. And I ain't talking rapping fast, because there's a lot of people who could rap fast. I ain't talking about that. I'm saying the two people to me that can Switch their flows up and do what they do. It's Royce the Five Nine and Kendrick Lamar. Outside of that, people try it and they do it. But for me, it's certain things that these three dudes can do that no rapper I ever heard do before. And I have all their music. And I listen to a lot of people. And I haven't heard anybody that can do what these three these three dudes do. You know what I mean, so certified twelve all the way, hundred <clears throat> percent. Uh, as far as uh success is for the for the album when he drops it, it's gonna be successful. Um, for one, we seen what the reinsurgence of true hip hop does for artists. We seen what it did for Nas. Nas came out and he started killing it. Now, mind you, Nas, Nas, for one, he um, he never really uh. What was different about the Nas, it was uh, if you're comparing it to what M's about to do, Nas never really um. Well, he changed his style somewhat, but he 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 kind of revamped. He kind of revamped like how, how he presents 
how he present his old style and revamped it to the new for the new generation by getting with Hit Boy. But he still was rapping on majority boom bap beats, but it was more like up it was more up to date. Like it was a different style. It was still boom bap, but it was different. You understand what I'm saying? What I mean is that it worked for Nas. It's going to work for M. In fact, it's going to go, it's going to quadruple what probably how Nas did, because Nas has been doing it for some time. So now it's almost time for Nas to probably like maybe try something else. M never did this before. So when M doing it, it's gonna it's gonna sound super refreshing. Nobody never heard M on stuff like this before. Not not in this format. No. And I'm guessing that whole album is probably gonna be similar to this because there's another record out there. I don't know if it's a mixed record, like somebody just took his vocals and put on it because I didn't check the whole thing. I just seen I just scrolled down the posting and I seen um I seen uh Eminem featuring outsiders. I know you know, but for people that don't know, Eminem and the Outsiders were were a squad. They was going they they was they was back in the day, they was they was in there. On top of that, when he said that one line, like he almost tried to duck down, that's that's straight facts. That is straight facts. You could Google that. So what I'm saying is that he was meant to do this in some time frame. He was going to be meant to go do something like this. And I'm excited because, like, it's definitely probably going to change the landscape. You know what I mean? Because anybody else that done this, we 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 kind of expected that from them. You know what I mean? But we don't expect this from Eminem. So when Eminem does it, trust and believe. If it's successful, which I guarantee is going to most likely be successful, it's going to change. People are going to start, you know what I mean, floating back to our era. And I cannot wait to hear what type of music is going to come out of, out of it. But yeah, man, it's a certified 12, man. Enough said. Hey, Ain't man. nothing else to say. You know what it is? Sketch Pad Podcast. We'll be back. See you later. Bye-bye.